Now let us use the LCM method in time and work. Let's assume two persons A and B can do a piece of work. A can do the work in 5 days and B can do the work in 15 days. So in LCM method we need to find the least common multiple of A and B. So which is the least common multiple of 5 and 15. So the LCM is 15. So we should assume that total units of work is 15 units. That is assume the work is equal to LCM units. As the LCM is 15, we assume the total work is 15 units. So the amount of work done by A in one day is equal to 15 units by 5 days equal to 3 units per day. Similarly, the work done by B per day equal to 15 by 15 equal to 1 unit per day. So together, A and B can do 3 plus 1 which is 4 units per day. So if now the question is to calculate how many days will A and B together need to complete the work, we can easily find the answer. Number of days A and B will need is equal to 15 units by 4 units equal to 3.75 days. Now let us look at another example of using LCA method to solve time and work problem. Let's assume A alone can do your work in 9 days and A and B can together do the same work in 6 days. So now the question is how much days will B alone take to complete the same piece of work? So to begin with let us calculate the LCM of 9 and 6 which is 18. So, this LCM should be assumed as the total unit of work. So, we assume the total units of work is 18. As A takes 9 days, in one day A can do 18 by 9 equal to 2 units of work. Similarly, A and B together can do 18 by 6 equal to 3 units of work. So, B can do A plus B minus A which is 3 units minus 2 units equal to 1 unit of work per day. So, number of days taken by B to complete the entire work equal to 18 units by 1 unit which is nothing but 18 days. Now, let's take an example problem and apply LCM method to solve it. The problem is A can complete a project in 20 days and B can complete the same project in 30 days. If A and B start working on the same project together and A quits 10 days before the project is completed, in how many days will the project be completed? So, now we should take the LCM of 20 and 30 which is 60. So, this 60 should be assumed as the total unit of work. So, in one day, A can do 3 units and B can do 2 units of work. The 3 is obtained by 60 by 20 and for B, the 2 units is obtained by dividing 60 by 30. So, now here is the diagram where the last 10 days only B is working on the project. So, in the beginning, A and B are working together on the project for certain number of days. So, let us call this uh, certain number of days as X days. So, framing the equation, 
the overall unit of work is 60 units. So together A plus B does 3 plus 2 units is equal to 5 units of work. So we multiply X days by 5 unit of work. And for the when the 10 days only B is working, we multiply 10 by 2 units, which is the work done by B in one day. So obtaining the equation 5x plus 20 equal to 60 units. So taking the 20 to the right hand side, 5x is equal to 40. So x is equal to 8 days. So to answer the question, the overall number of days required to complete the project will be 8 plus 10, which is 18 days.